Two weeks ago, I have taken an impression with these four standard transfers, acquiring the position of the four osseointegrated implants. My technician has poured up a dental cast in order to choose with the help of these try-in abutments, the appropriate abutments. For this clinical case, he has chosen three straight abutments with a gingival height of 3 millimeters and one angled abutment. As you can see, the straight abutments for screw-retained prostheses do not have an apical hexagon, whereas the angled abutment has a hexagon separated from the rest of the abutment. The technician has used the dental cast to determine the correct position for the hexagon and to fit it into the selected position. Just this moment I have removed the healing caps and seated the abutments into the implants. We are now going to activate the Morris Taper connection using the specific abutment beater. As soon as the abutments are permanently connected, we can acquire the position of the abutment in the mouth. To do so, we use these transfers. The yellow color code indicates a diameter of 4.1 millimeters. The transfer is also laser marked. I screw the abutment onto the transfers all the way to the stop and hand tighten them. To take the impression we use a normal closed tray impression tray. I recommend to use a polyether material for this impression. I normally use Impregum. Once the impression has been taken we have to unscrew the transfers and to protect the abutments with these caps. I connect the specific adapter to the hand screwdriver and fix the caps with the standard connecting screw on the abutments. Now we have to relieve the provisional denture to create space for the abutments and then we can send the patient home. Impressions and transfers are sent to the laboratory. The dental technician will then receive the impressions and the four abutments for a screw retained prosthesis. I screw the first abutment analog fairly tightly on the relevant transfer and reposition the assembly into the impression. You can perceive a click when the complete insertion is achieved. Now we have to check and see if there is enough space between the impression material and the analog. Here it is fine, we have enough space. Let's try it in another position. As you can see here, we do not have enough space between the impression material and the analog. Therefore, the cast would be too thin in this area. In such cases, it is much better to use an angled abutment analog. We screw an angled abutment analog onto the transfer and try it in the impression. If we have to change the position, we can rotate the assembly analog plus transfer inside the impression. Please rotate only clockwise to prevent parts from being unscrewed.